Good morning, everybody. So today is day two of my J Rob Detox. The results of day one were that I lost 2.2 pounds. It was not difficult to do until I got to my last shake. I think it was like my fourth or fifth shake of the day, and it was hard um, just to get the shake down. And I think it really was just hard because, you know, you make it with water, and I had been making them with almond milk um, prior to that, but he's asked that you don't use almond milk, that you just use water during detox. So um, I found it just a tad bit hard and to choke down the last one. But other than that, it really wasn't all that bad until I got back from the store and my husband and his brother made cookies, my brother-in-law was visiting, and they made cookies and I was gone. So there's like all these fresh baked cookies everywhere and I bought them cookies when I was at the store because I knew they were going to want something sweet to eat for um, a dessert. And I'm like, I just walked into my room and shut the door behind me. It was like, I'm not going outside. <laughs> um, sorry. So <clears throat> that is what happened yesterday. And today, um, so far, I've gotten to have two cups of strawberries, which has been wonderful. And I will eat again at 11. Some, probably a banana or, or I don't know, something. I have to figure that part out. Um, Anyway, so today I get to eat fruit every two hours. Maybe I'll have mango. Um, and then at dinner time, I get to have, at 6 o'clock in the dinner, I get to have a big salad with a J-Rob shake. Here is one thing that I did notice. I don't like to be able to, okay, I don't like to be able to see through my shakes because it kind of takes away from it, which you do when you, when you mix it with water. And secondly, <clears throat> I think the best thing to put it in, I've been putting them in glass cups, so now my next thing is I'm going to put them in a colored um, plastic cup. Then I won't have to see through it, and it won't freak me out and gross Call me out as much. Baby. Anyway, sorry, my daughter wants to tell you that she got to have some strawberries too. Um, <clears throat> so my big release for yesterday, um, for doing it yesterday, was 2.2 pounds. Can you please bring that to Mommy, because I don't want you getting it on the floor. Bring it here now. One. And I don't know how to edit, so you get to see that part. Um, anyway, so I lost 2.2 pounds, and I wanted to answer this one quick question. Nobody's asked this to me. I've just been thinking about it. The reason why I had to not do a correction day like they tell you to do on protocol is because I have had this weird aversion to meat, red meat lately, and it just isn't helping. And like I put it in my mouth, and I get kind of sick. So. Um, that is why I am doing the detox. And thirdly is that I'm going to be doing a detox, a J-Rob detox, before I go on HCG again. I was planning on going on HCG and doing another round on May 13th, um, but I might push that out a week to May 20th. I'm not sure. My husband and I are going on a vacation at the beginning of May, and, um, I know I'm going to be eating kind of nasty, so I'll see. Um... I guess it just depends. Then when I come back, oh, and here's the other thing I noticed yesterday. During my, um, during the day, like later in the afternoon, I had been doing it a full day. When I was outside talking to a friend, I noticed my stomach was feeling flatter again and not as puffy as it had been feeling. So I am grateful for this J-Rob. It does work so far, it seems. I hope I can lose another two pounds, um, <clears throat> maybe more, who knows, whatever, we'll see. Anyway, just wanted to let y'all know, J-Rob does work. You just got to follow it. Okay, talk to y'all later. Bye.